96.7 FM. Hi. Hi, Facebook friends. I'm Christine. Bob is here, of course. Hi, America. And <laughs> superstar about to make his Broadway debut, Jason Mraz is with us. Hi, Jason. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and hi, Facebook Live. Yeah, just pick a camera, any camera. We're yeah, good. Or a go. microphone. You're, you're comfy with the mics. I love yep. that hat. <laughs> Thanks. That's an awesome hat. Uh, can I borrow that for uh, this weekend? My wife is doing, you know, she's, she's playing Tiny Tim oh. uh, for Halloween. So she needs a. So was Tiny what, Tim for Halloween? That's that? a good choice. Of, that's a Christmas character for Halloween. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, that's a good. <laughs> I know, and I'm I'm the ghost of Christmas present. I shouldn't oh. have said that, but. Wow, yeah. he gave it all but away. But she needs a hat like that, a scallywag. Isn't that what it's called, a scallywag? I, he, that's, a, yeah. that's a great name for this name, hat. Jason. Yeah. <laughs> you got a scallywag. Scallywag. That yeah. seems like a pirate name. That good on name. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Did you ever think it through that deeply? Didn't... <laughs> yeah. So. I love hats. I've worn hats since, uh, in my second grade yearbook photo, I'm wearing a hat. And I that's had a permission funny. slip from my parents saying, oh. this is part of his outfit. <laughs> Let him wear this hat. Let him wear the hat. The only hat in the yearbook that and year. And you grew up in, we were just talking, Rick. Just outside of Richmond? Just outside of Richmond in Mechanicsville, Virginia. Virginia. Yep. Went to Hanover County Public Schools. We had great arts programs Mm -hmm. there. And I really say that because I I don't think I'd be where I am today if we didn't have arts in our school. Mm -hmm. Right. So I got to play and sing and just be imaginative my whole life. And and to the point where I thought, yes, this is what I'm going to do the rest of my life. And it didn't make any sense to me when someone said, I'm going to be in economics. I'm (laughs) going to be in business. What? You're not going to be in entertainment? How could you not do this? I thought everyone (laughs) goes into entertainment. You know? So I love it. So take us from from that school to how you got to be, you know, Jason Mraz on Broadway. So I always love singing and performing and just entertaining people. And after high school, I thought, well, I need to find more of that to do. So I actually came to New York City and I, I enrolled in AMDA at American Musical and Dramatic Academy, where I quickly realized how competitive and how very, very scary it would be to pursue a career in uh, musical theater. (laughs) So I withdrew and I focused on original music because I felt it would be less competitive. I thought, Mm -hmm. I love to sing and with the guitar I can just go to the sidewalk, go to the subway, go to the park. I can sing instantly. I don't need to audition. I can just create my own work Mm -hmm. and get a reaction almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And so that became my focus and I've been doing that the last 20 years. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. It worked out great. (laughs) You backdoored it to Broadway. I did. (laughs) did. I I did. So a few years ago, Sarah Bareilles called and asked if I would sing the male role on her album version of Waitress Songs. Uh I thought, wow, yes, of course. I'll do anything for this Mm. artist. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, I was a little nervous that maybe my voice wouldn't be mature enough to play the role of a doctor. But she says, no, no, he's very light and whimsy, clumsy mm-hmm. kind of doctor. Mm-hmm. I thought, oh, great, I'm light and <laughs> whimsy and clumsy. Uh, and then a few, yeah. uh, two years later, almost exactly two years later, she called again and said, um, hey, would you consider being Dr. Pometer in our Broadway show? Mm-hmm. And I thought... Yes, that scares the heck out of me, uh-huh. which means I have to do it. Right. right. You know, it's, if it's something. I, so here I am. I'm back in New York City after living here 23 years ago. I'm back. And I get to, for me as a performer, Broadway feels like new muscles because, well, a lot of it is just trying to change my own inner dialogue to mm. the truth of Dr. Pometer mm-hmm. mm. so that I can mean what I say when I'm interacting with. Jenna. Who yeah. the, who oh, you'll interact. Yeah, there's a lot of interact. Do- the doctor, is, uh, yeah. There is a lot of a busy close doctor. interaction. Right. <laughs> it's it not normal for friends. him. <laughs> it's 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 not his normal uh, mo. But it is um, something about her mm-hmm. reminds him of who he used to be, and and she's very forward. She right. she really gives him permission to to, to move, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a fun role. It's a fun it's role. Great. Beautiful so songs. Who's playing uh, the lead now? Currently, Betsy Wolf. Okay. Who is a fantastic musical theater star, and is a brilliant actress. Anything I give to her, she just hits it right back oh, and really brings me up. So you you must be feeling safe and secure because you're up there. You've got each other's backs. You know. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and I. I feel, I don't know, I, I warned them all. I said, <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time. And they said, no, you'll be great. And so I, I go in really with their confidence in mm-hmm. me. 
uh, to have permission to just let down my force field and, and see what happens. And it's a ton of fun. I'm it's loving a, it. Yeah. Have, so your debut is November 3rd. November 3rd. Do yes. Do you have special guests coming? Are you excited? Oh, How are you feeling question. about it? Um, my special guests are my parents. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. That is <laughs> They got to be excited. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, like his hat is part of his outfit. It so. is. <laughs> and, Let him wear his hat. And my yeah. Dr. Pomander, so far, unless mm. things change in a week, uh, my Dr. Pomander does get to wear a hat on his off days. See? That's, that's good. good. So when right. you see him at the bus stop, he's wearing his hat. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you've got a, a kind of a limited run, right? It's through January. Yeah, I'll be what up there for if three you months. Love it, they love you. The audience can't get enough Jason Mraz. Wow, good problem um, to have. It's a good problem to have, but I did already start booking myself shows yeah. in February, uh-huh. so I'll be back yeah. on the road doing my own solo shows. Okay, um, your concerts are great. I've seen you several times, okay. and. Uh, most recently with Christina Perry. Okay. Who, like, we, we kind of have a tie-in with. Yeah. In a way. Right. A friend of ours, a co-worker here, um, he and Christina Perry expecting a baby together. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, that's so great. Congratulations. Them. Yeah, and you guys were great on stage. You did duets together. You we did. Involved. She's yeah. another artist who invited me in to sing a duet on her album. Mm-hmm. And then we did a summer tour together. Yeah. So we got to share our duets. Are you so? You, are you working on an album yourself? I am. Yeah. I am. And this to me was such a great break in my routine mm-hmm. to come here and uh, take a vacation. I would say mm-hmm. from the neuroses of of writing an yeah. album. Um, well, which, one of your so, you know, your song "I'm Yours" is is still one of the I, I know top testing songs on Light FM. So right. you'll hear that a lot. We're probably right. paying for maybe the hat. I don't know. It's something. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Yeah, seriously. It's yeah. still it's like one of those songs that's just it's classic. I think it's it's always gonna be, you know, one of our stalwart songs awesome. in life. That's Must great. Be proud of that song. I'm very, very proud of that song. And and because of that, I try to stay present to any um spontaneous um inclination that a song is about to be birthed. Because essentially that's how I'm Yours was born. I was just had access to a guitar and started chugging through some very familiar chords. And the melody dropped and the lyrics dropped very, very quickly. I wrote them down and I moved on. And it was really four years later that I recorded and released that song. Wow. But luckily I captured it when it came. Right. Because if, you, if you're not listening when the muse knocks on your door, you could miss something very, very important. And so I try to constantly do that in hopes of... Delivering so you other force great it. songs. It just can't. It comes to you with it. I do go, both. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got to force it. I force it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that I can have my tools always sharp and yeah. ready, so that when the other times uh, when the muse does arrive at an inopportune moment, mm-hmm. I'm still very um, prepared to write a song. Yeah. You know so whether it, it's. Yeah. Is, oh, I'm sorry. Is there some special setting or something that like? Do you like to be at home? Do you like to be out? That kind of inspires you and gets the writing going. Um, no, it no special setting. It it really takes just you sitting down mm-hmm. with a pen or with an instrument. With an instrument, it's very helpful because it's less um, it's less mind craft and more of the heart, more mm-hmm. heart speak. And I would prefer mm-hmm. it that way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Makes yeah. me wish I had a talent. Just listening. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, man, oh, man. Well, listen, <laughs> right? you have a great yeah. talent. Listen to that voice. Yeah, but, you know, I can't, I can't pick a guitar. He's from, like, just outside of Richmond, Virginia. And I used to watch show American uh, Restoration. I was just mentioning to you. And, you know, here's Jason and his dad show up on the show. You had this huge sign. Yeah. That was your grandfather's. Yeah, uh, it was his shop sign. sign. Yeah. How fun was that? And you had it rest restored and absolutely. My grandfather bizarre. went by the name Frank D. Fixer, and I wrote a song about him on on an album. And he was a fix it guy. He fixed farm equipment and household appliances. If he if he didn't have the part, he would make the part mm-hmm. and get the machine going again. And and over the years, his shop deteriorated, and he passed away. And my dad and I tried to save his signs, these brilliant signs that hung on his shop for thirty plus years. And after a while, they just eroded, mm-hmm. rust, and yeah. and it was way out of our our um, pay grade to fix this thing, these signs. And and but we found the TV show Restoration, uh, American Restoration, yeah. and we sent the signs. And we were lucky that we got to participate in this televised version of uh, of my grandfather's signs being yeah. restored no, really cool. to really museum nice. quality. Yeah. That is really so nice. now it hangs in my studio where I where I workshop and and yeah. make my songs. Yeah, and where. Uh, 
you're not based out of New York. You're just here for the show. Yes, right? I'm here for three months for the show, which I love. I love that I get to be here for the for the holiday yeah, seasons. That's right. Hall- yeah, yeah. Halloween all the way through <laughs> New Year's. Oh, it's fun. Good time. It's a great time. Beautiful time of year. You want to go as uh, Tiny Tim? I mean, you could do that. Um, you got the hat. I'm going to go as Dr. Pomander. <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I'm working on every right. holiday yes, this year. Down, yeah. Right. It's a, yeah. I don't know that they'll let me wear the outfit outside of the building, but. Uh, but in, when I'm not living here or touring, I actually reside in North County, San Diego, which is a nice. beautiful That's part of the country. Yeah. If you ever get a chance to get over there, look us up. We have a little farm where we're planting oh. coffee what and growing that? all kinds of food. And someday you'll be able to come to sneak out to our farm to have the best tasting mainland coffee grown. Look at that. Um, Right here. Yeah. She like said, she said I'm yours. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's a new it's a new project. <laughs> you, you had us at coffee. Yeah. Um, well, um, reversals, I'm sure you, you're, you're super busy with that because it is yes. November 3rd, right? That is Yes, is one Thursday? week from today. Week yeah. from today. How's, from the, today. how's the voice, voice, voice? Yeah. Voice is great. <laughs> voice is great because these yeah. are um, – really his role is three, maybe three and a half songs. <laughs> Whereas my other show would be twenty some songs, oh, you know, I would oh, be so and and I would be responsible for the set list and all of the craziness that goes into mm-hmm. putting on that day. This is I don't want to use this, the words vacation, the word vacation, but it is a nice departure from what I was doing, and I and I love this. The muscles I'm using are more internal, and the singing of Sarah Bareilles' songs is the highlight of my day. And I'm so gr- grateful that I get to do it eight times a week. She's great, by the way. We've, we've yeah. talked to Sarah on a couple of occasions specifically mm-hmm. about the show. So before it started, mm-hmm. we just saw the excitement that she had for it. So yeah. we were excited to see it. We absolutely loved it. We oh, saw yeah. it together. It's uh-huh. and wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's a great show. And I would see show. it again anytime. It's, it's, it's a great show. It's a new show. classic. Yeah. It's just a joy. It really it is. is. Yeah. 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 Well, Jace, we know you got to get to rehearsals. Thank so. you, sir. Thank so you so much for coming in. And waitressthemusical.com for your tickets to see Jason Mraz. Thank you. So good to see you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. 106.7 FM.